In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the memorial of St. Anthony Mary Claret, Bishop. And as we also celebrate this Holy Mass, we, we keep and remember our brothers and sisters who are currently suffering because of the Typhoon Christine. We extend to them our thoughts and prayers that God may continue to have mercy on us, free us from every harm, and bless us with His peace. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light and hope to those in darkness, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the evangelization of peoples strengthened the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long-suffering, Grant, through his intercession, that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through, through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have a strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. 
For upright is the word of the Lord. All his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I, am, I, must, I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Once in a while, we hear these words, The heat is on. Sa mga mahilig pong manood ng basketball dito, annotators or commentators would say this when teams would rally and have a good ball defense and offense one after the other. Minsan, ginagamit natin ito kung may magandang mga pag-uusap ang nabubuo in between persons, groups, or individuals. O minsan, masasabi o masusukat din natin ito when we are productive sa isang bagay. Fire would not only mean a destructive element, but fire flames up. Fire makes a cold heart warm. Fire makes a lifeless person passionate, alive, and kicking, so to say. Fire makes every heart alive when we feel down. You notice, my dear brothers and sisters, today we've heard not a soft nor a gentle Jesus, but a Jesus on fire, a Jesus whose heat is on, a Jesus 
who would not like, who would like to have heat and fire over us. By saying that he wishes to cast fire on the earth and would love to see it blazing is but his deepest desire for all of us. He wanted all of us to be on fire. He would not want destruction since destruction is not of God. He would not want defeat since defeat is not of God. He wanted for us fire. And that fire is not a destructive element but something that will build up. Fire to make us passionate. Fire to make us energetic and zealous. As the heat is on for Jesus to make us better and blessed, so also for us, the heat is on for us. Ayaw niyang papatay-patay tayo. Gusto niya na ang bawat isa sa atin buhay na buhay sa mundong ito. Most especially these days that many of our brothers and sisters are suffering because of Typhoon Christine. Most especially those badly affected. I know that it is very cold and cozy to be comfortable and to feel secure. But it is a call for every day. It is an everyday call to be on fire. The heat is on every day. To be on fire to help. To be on fire to pray. To be on fire as a neighbor. To be on fire as the face of God to each of us, most especially those who are suffering right now. Fire will not destroy us. Fire will heat us up. Fire will make us alive. Fire will make us passionate. And let Jesus supply this in our hearts to make us alive, to make us passionate, to make us bold every day of our lives. Please stand. Trials and troubles may come our way, but we are confident that God the Father will not fall short in His promises to those who are faithful and persevering. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church who are openly persecuted may be given the courage and strength to remain constant in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that parents may have the strength and courage to, get, to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that families and communities divided by religious differences may discover the truth and show respect to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick, the elderly, and the disabled may receive love and attention from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. And we lift up to the Lord all the intentions offered in this Mass as we pray for one another 
and for our brothers and sisters suffering because of the typhoon Christine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Comfort us in our pain and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of Blessed Anthony Mary, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Anthony Mary, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anthony Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Coming together as God's family with confidence, we call on God, our Father. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Anthony Mary never ceased to labor, for which he spent his whole life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.